Hello all, welcome to my channel. This is Sumanth and in this video, we will discuss about how to create dependency between mock tests. When I meant creating dependency, let's say if second test case is dependent on test case one, maybe test case one might create some prereq data or change some prereq settings that are required from for test case two. Now if test case one fails, right? Uh, test case two will also fail because the prerequisites that has to be done uh, didn't happen and uh, even test case two will also fail. In those cases, right, we need to skip execution of test case two to save some time. So uh, that is what we will discuss in this video. Now, Mocha didn't provide any default methods or predefined methods for us to skip the dependent test execution but there is a approach that we can follow to achieve this. For this, right, what I'll do is, I'll first create an object called dependency and I'll create an empty object. I'll not uh, add any anything into this object. And once this test case is executed, right, in the after each, I'll add an after each hook I'll create a function and in the after each, right? What I'll do is this uh, let this case name equal to this dot current title, current, sorry, current test dot title. So I'll get the name of this test case first. And then if this dot current test dot state table equal to or triple equal to if this is passed meaning if my test case is passed then what I'll do is in this dependency object I'll call this dependency and add this key the called test case name and then I will add a value called Past. Now, similarly, if the test case fail, right, what I'll do is uh, I'll add an else block or I'll remove if. If it is not passed, no matter if it is skipped or uh, fail, right, I'll just mark this uh, test as failed in the dependency object. Failed after the execution of test case one, right? The after each will be executed. And if the test case is passed, so the dependency object will be updated with this test case name and with the status passed. If the test case is failed, right? The dependency sheet will be updated with status uh, failed for this particular test case. Now let's go and see how to use this in our dependent test cases and script the execution. Now we will add one if statement saying dependency of, we know the test case name, right? So we'll add it here. Stable equal to or not equal to past then this dot skip. So what this means is, if the status of or the value of this particular key in this dependency object is not passed, then execute this dot skip. What this dot skip does is it will skip the execution of rest of the code present in this particular read block. I have discussed about what this dot skip does in my earlier videos. So if you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link in the description. Please do watch that video to understand more about this dot skip method. So let's continue our discussion about skipping this test case. So if this particular test, if test case one failed, so this particular it statement it will be marked as pending instead of marking it as passed or failed. Now let's say if Test case three is dependent on test case two. 
and now we can add this block again here so if test case 2 passed then test case 3 will be executed or else it will be skipped from execution after executing this first two lines and this test case will be marked as pending now let's run this code and verify the output so we'll run the command mocha test slash test one dot js enter so all my three tests got executed let me throw an exception throw error fail this test now after throwing this exception right this test case will be marked as failed and these two test case right they should not be executed and they should be marked as pending let me clear my console and execute this test file again so if you look at the output test case 1 is marked as failed and test case 2 and test case 3 they are marked as pending because these tests are dependent on test case 1 and we have added this uh, check here in our it blocks which skips the execution based on the status of the test case 1 similarly even in test case 3 based on status of test case 2 the test case 3 execution will be skipped now this is how you can uh, create dependency between tests in mocha thanks for watching see you in the next video